Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who sees this video. This is one I pray you pass on to anybody you can. Although, I have to admit, I would like to know where he got his information. But this is the Fullerton Informer, who I don't normally listen to, only because of the way he presents his, himself. But in this one, it is, it is, it's better. And twice, he talks about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which I had never heard before. Okay, here's the thing. I have put out videos before, and one was about brucellosis, I believe, coming in the foods, some foods, and warned about it. Well, he is talking about, from this day forward, Things you need to cook, not medium rare or medium. You got to cook them well done. Eggs, you can't have them like partially runny anymore. Or cheeses that are not pasteurized. He goes over things that we need to be sure to cook well or don't buy. Now... I know a lot of people like him and think of him as truthful. And now um, I've changed my tune about him. I, I feel he's telling the truth. And I'm going to leave a comment and ask him if he could please tell me where he got this information. But I want to go ahead and share this because... It does you no harm to be cautious in the meanwhile, does it? And we also know if you have faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and you pray over your food you and you ask the Lord to bless it and purify it for the safe consumption of of it for your body to nourish you and not make you sick however you want to word it we pray over he told us he I got a message like last year somebody else got one that I shared recently like a couple months ago maybe well no wonder he said pray over Everything you eat and drink. Why would he say that if this kind of thing wasn't true? So, taking into consideration what the Lord Jesus Christ has already told me and confirmed it to someone else. We already got one report about the brucellosis. And come to find out, its symptoms are exactly like the COVID. Now, isn't that something? Here is a scary thing. He is telling you to not let your child buy school lunches to pray over them. I mean, to, excuse me. That's what I would say. <laughs> pray over your lunch, honey. No. Pack them. Pack them. And then I got to thinking. Grade schools and senior care facilities are sent the second class food. And who would they like to get rid of more than anybody? You see, Jesus is coming to take his children your grade school children, I would presume, are under the age of accountability. Can you see Jesus not taking a grade school age child? And I guess it would depend on their maturity, intelligence, and how much evil have they 
chosen to do versus what their families have put them through, taught them, made them participate in. You see the difference. Our Lord is merciful and he knows, he knows their hearts. And unfortunately, there are children whose parents are into Satanism and witchcraft and they teach their children this. Make them watch satanic sacrifices, which may or may not turn them evil. It may actually turn them into a multi-personality disorder person. And they do this also with the MK Ultra Mind Control Program. See, that is not their fault. None of that is their fault. If they are forced to participate at the age of three, four, and five, until their mind is well fractured into many personalities. That is so sad. And I didn't mean to get off on that. But that, that's just one example of anyone that does evil that won't be left behind. Please share this video of his with whoever you can and just tell them it's about the food things you need to know about food starting today try to pass it on as soon as you see it okay if you can't see the link in the description box it is the Fullerton Informer F-U-L-L-E-R-T-O-N Fullerton Informer the Fullerton Informer and the title is Urgent Warning Food Supply Being Spiked with Brucellosis and he's saying back when the Spanish flu happened it was another gram negative bacteria it was not a flu flus are viruses I don't know about all that. I just know we need to know about today. What's going on today? <sighs> Mighty funny. This word brucellosis keeps coming up. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video to pr and pray that it stays up. And if not, it's going up on brighteon.com under my name, same channel name. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, your internet connections, and your devices. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.